Hey guys, what is up? It is Mandy Brady here, and I am here to do a video uh, that I've thought about for a really long time filming, but I was really hesitant because um, this is not something I usually tell a ton of people, and not a lot of people know about me, so I figured I would just make this video for you guys because... Um, I've seen a lot of these types of videos on YouTube and, you know, me following with the trends and, you know, if other people can tell about their stories, so can I. Um, so you guys probably clicked, obviously, because you saw the title and this video is going to be titled, um, My Ghost Experience. Um, or something, I don't know. I might title it something else, I don't know, because I haven't come up with it yet, but... Something along the lines of paranormal experiences. Um, and first, I would just like to put a disclaimer out there that if you're going to judge, and if you don't believe in ghosts, and if you're going to hate and, you know, whatever, criticize or say that it's not real, please just don't even bother watching. But this is for mainly people that are interested in my experiences and also who also believe in ghosts or believe that they've seen things so they can sort of feel like they relate. Um, so I have been able to see ghosts since I was 10 years old. Um, and not just see ghosts, but I'm also able to feel their energies, you know, like I can feel paranormal energies. Um, I've always been very hypersensitive to paranormal energies, and, um, you know, I've also been able to catch one on camera before, I've also heard one speak to me before, and sometimes, you know, ghosts, um, you know, they come to me in my dreams, and they'll tell me something, and I don't know who they are, and I don't know, like, why they're telling me these things, but, you know, I have a lot of experience with the paranormal, and, um, you know, I've been able to do this since I was 10, like I said, um, you know, I was more, more able to see the ghosts, like, actually see them for myself when I was 10, or when you're younger, it's easier to see the ghosts than as you get older, but I'm still able to feel the presences, I'm still able to sometimes, like, communicate with them, but not, like, you know, have a conversation, it's not exactly the same way, um, but, you know, this is a skill that I've had, and I shouldn't be ashamed of it or for believing in it because um, I have witnesses a lot of the time to these experiences so it's not just me seeing these things or feeling these things it's other people as well that I've been with um, in some of these experiences um, so today I'm just gonna share with you guys uh, one of my ghost experiences and if you guys like this one then I will share more because I have a lot of experiences, um, but I figured I'd just start where it all began, where I first saw, when I saw my first ghost, um, so I thought I would just start with that story, and if you guys like this stuff and want to see more of my paranormal stories and experiences, then please like this video and give it a comment or something. If you thumbs up this video or give it a comment, you know, a positive comment saying you want to see or hear more about my paranormal experiences, then you can. Um, but if not, I, you know, depending on how you guys like it, uh, we'll see. So my first ever experience, like I said, was when I was 10 years old. And um, it was in my house, actually, um, in my house that I still live in. Um, and no, the ghost is not still there. And I will explain all of that in this story. So let's get started. So I was 10 years old, and I was going to bed one night, and I was just sleeping in my bed, you know, like usual, and I was minding my own business, and all of a sudden, I felt this really weird energy, like, I felt like someone was watching me, and I just remember I had this really overwhelming feeling of a presence, um, or some sort of thing in the room, and I was really freaked out, I was like, what's happening? I'm like, I don't understand, like, why do I feel like something is in this room? So I remember I was like peering out from under the covers because I, ha I usually sleep with like the covers like mostly over my head and like cuddling into my covers. Um, so I start to pull them down a little bit and I see this girl and I freak out. But like I'm more shocked than anything. My eyes are just bulging out of my head like wide open because 
I'm seeing this pale outline of a girl and like I can see her face too like I can see her features but you can tell that they're like almost translucent because you know it's not a human like you can tell it's not a real person you know what I mean like you can tell that you know the only people in my house are my parents and they're asleep I'm an only child you know so nobody else could have been in the house and I just see this outline of this girl who's really pale I'm getting, like, goosebumps even talking about it. Even though this happened, like, 11 years ago, I still get goosebumps telling people this story. Um, but she had, like, long, dark hair. Like, it was, like, jet black hair. It looked like it was wet almost, but not really. It just looked, like, really straight and, like, dark. And I think it was wet, but I couldn't really tell. And then she had a very pale face, very dark, like, eyes. Like, you couldn't really see what color eyes they were. They were just, like, dark, almost like black holes. Something like you would see out of a horror movie, guys. And she was so pale. She was ghostly pale. That's She was the definition of ghostly pale. She wore, like, this long white dress. And I remember that it was, like, short sleeve or something. And I remember, I think I saw... Something around her ankle. I don't remember what it was. I just saw, like, really pale, pale. And I think there was a mark on her neck. I'm not really sure. I think there was. I think there was, if I can recall correctly, that there was some sort of marking on her neck, like, as if it looked like she was, had been strangled or tried to hang herself or something. And I was like, what is happening? And I didn't believe it. I was shocked to no end. I was 10 years old, and I'm seeing this thing. I'm like what's happening, you know, like, I must be crazy, so then I roll over, and I put the covers back over my head, because I'm so afraid and terrified, I'm like, what's happening right now, like, is this honestly real, so I flip over, I have the covers over my head, and then I pull the covers down again, like, a minute later, and she's still there, and she's literally at the foot, like, not even at the foot of my bed, it's like in this little small corner in my bedroom. I can't really explain to you guys, but she was just standing there and staring at me. And I felt almost like she was going to walk forward towards me. Like, I felt like she was going to come towards me. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm like, what do I do, what do I do? Like, I don't know. And I'm like, the best thing to do, like, if I learned anything from horror movies, and I hadn't watched any horror movies, I'm sure, when I was 10... But, like, had I learned anything, actually, maybe I did watch horror movies when I was 10, I don't even know, but have I learned anything from a scary movie? You do not scream, you do not freak out, you do not run away, or maybe you do run away, but, you know, whatever. You try to keep calm as best as possible because you don't want the ghost or the entity to know that they are affecting you in this way. You don't want to give in by giving them that energy, you know what I mean? By giving them that fear, you know, because they can feed off of that. They know that you're scared. They can feel that you're scared. You know what I mean? So I was just like, you know, I I was freaked. I was like, what's happening? And I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm going to try my best. Take a deep breath in. I'm going to calm down. Just try to go to sleep. So I put the cover back over my head. I breathe. I try to ignore the fact that this energy is here. Ignore the fact that I can see this thing and go to sleep. And I, like, tried to keep calm, and I, I think I, before I actually fell asleep, I think I took down the cover one more time, and she was gone, but I think I waited, like, a solid five minutes until she was gone, because I could sort of feel that the energy or whatever was watching me was no longer in the room, like, the presence, so, and then when I took the cover down again, I saw that nothing was there, so I knew it was a ghost, and I was like, holy shit, so... I told my parents about it, and I was really freaked out, and I was like, obviously, I'm not going to want to sleep in my room ever again, so I told my parents I was terrified. I'm like, Mom, Dad, can I please sleep in your room, and I, w I would really like to sleep on your floor, you know, just in your room, not even on your bed, like, I don't really care, um, so I slept on my parents' floor on, on an air mattress for two weeks, literally two weeks, because I was terrified to go into my own room. And my mom was saying, oh my god, this is getting ridiculous, you know, I I don't believe in this stuff, you need to go see someone about this. So she took me to a psychologist, and the psychologist talked to me about it and was like, listen, honey, there's no such thing as 
as ghosts. It's not scientifically proven, so it's not real. I literally looked at her and I'm like, so science explains everything. Like, science explains why people fall in love and, you know, everything else and beliefs. Science explains beliefs. Yeah, I don't think so, honey. So, you know, obviously this lady's telling me I'm crazy, and my mom probably told her to tell me I'm crazy because I didn't believe my mom, obviously, when my mom was like, there's no such thing as ghosts, you know? Like, obviously I'm not going to believe her because I freaking saw the thing. Like, she didn't see the thing, I did. So I'm like, all right, you know what, whatever. Like, this psychologist lady has no idea what I've seen. Like, she doesn't get it. So... A couple months, I think, passed by or something. I don't even know how much time passes by, but I was still 10 years old. That much I remember, and I remember my family took a trip out to California, and we were going to see my step-cousins, because I have three step-cousins out in California, and a step-uncle, and then my aunt, who's married to my step-uncle. So we go out there to, I think, Lake Tahoe, California, which is where they have a house, and I was like, okay, cool, like, I'm gonna just stay there and everything, and I was, like, thinking to myself, I'm like, should I tell Hannah about this? Hannah is one of my cousins who, you know, uh, was around my age, and I was going to be spending the night in her room or whatever, or spending a few nights in her room, so I wanted to, like, talk to her about it, and, like, just tell her what happened, so I did, and she was like, wow, are you serious, like, this really happened, and I'm like, yeah, like, I'm really freaked out about it, I don't know what to do, my parents don't believe me, blah, 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 so I talked to her about it, and then we go to sleep that night, and then she tells me in the middle of the night that or I think maybe even the next day. I don't remember when it was if she told me that night or the next day. Because remember, guys, this is 11 years ago. I'm trying to remember from 11 years ago every single part. I just remember, like, the general gist. But she tells me that she's seen the ghost. She thinks she's seen the ghost. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> she tells me that she saw a ghost that night when we were sleeping and I was in the room with her and I I apparently was like knocked out so I didn't see it but I probably felt it I don't really remember so she tells me the next day she's like Manny I saw a ghost last night I'm like Connor are you serious I'm like are you just saying that because I told you about my ghost experience now you're thinking you're seeing ghosts too and she's like no Mandy I'm like legit serious keep in mind guys I did not tell her anything, like, no physical description of what this, what this, this ghost looked like, okay? She's like, I'm gonna prove it to you. I'm gonna draw exactly how this ghost looked that I saw last night. She drew a picture of the same exact ghost that I had been seeing. I freaked out. I was like, she saw the ghost? The ghost traveled from across the freaking country? Okay, because I'm on the east coast. California's on the west coast. This ghost literally traveled to California, and my cousin, who I'm sure has probably never seen ghosts before either, saw the same exact ghost, and I'm like, are you serious right now, and she's like, yeah, like, I saw this ghost, like, I literally shit my pants, but not exactly, you know what I mean, I was freaked out, I was like, what is happening right now, I was in disbelief, okay, and, <clears throat> sorry, I keep coughing, I have, like, this thing in my lungs, I don't even know, okay, anyway, so, she draws me the picture, and I'm like, holy fuck, that's the ghost. So, you know, then we talk about it and whatever, and then she's like, you know, the ghost told me that it wanted something. I'm like, what? I'm like, the ghost tried to communicate with you? She's like, yeah. She's like, the ghost, like, told me that, you know, she wanted this necklace. And there was this necklace that she had on her dresser or whatever, 
And you guys, you were probably at this point thinking, you know, she, my cousin was trying to fuck with me, but she was just as scared as I was about this whole thing, so I really don't think she would be, like, fucking around with me if she was really just as terrified as I was. And also the fact that she drew the ghost and I didn't tell her anything of what it looked like. So, yeah. Um, so you guys, yeah, you're probably thinking, oh my god, Mandy's so fucking crazy. I'm not. <coughs> also, I'd like to throw out a disclaimer. Um, I have a learning disability, and I was diagnosed for schizophrenia, I'm pretty sure, with my learning disability. So, no, I am not schizophrenic, in case you're wondering. So, that's probably what you're thinking, but I'm just telling you that right now. Before I finish the story. So, anyway. <coughs> swear to God, it's killing me. Okay. So, she told me that the ghost wanted this necklace that was on her dresser. And it was, like, Egyptian. It was from, like, Egypt or some shit. And I was like, okay, like, maybe this ghost has, like, Egyptian, like, relatives. Maybe she's Egyptian. Who the hell knows? Maybe it has some sort of, it had some sort of symbolic revenant, uh, la, la, some symbolic relevance to her, I guess, the ghost. So I'm like, okay, you know, what does it want us to do with the necklace? Like, how, like, what are we supposed to do with this thing? So she was saying that the ghosts want us to bury it in the backyard in, like, a little hole in the ground and then just, like, cover it back up <clears throat> because the ghost was really upset and angry. Like, we could tell that the ghost was really upset and angry about something and, you know, we didn't know why. And I think she either... Was I think she was killed by someone, honestly. I think somebody else killed her, but we're not really sure. Um, or at least I knew back then. I'm not sure now. Um, <coughs> sorry, I keep coughing. I feel really bad. So, yeah, so she was saying, um, you know, like, I want to be able to pass on into heaven, you know, into the light. Like, I don't want to be on earth anymore because... You know, when ghosts, ghosts are here for a reason. They're here because they have unfinished business or they died an unwilling death and they weren't supposed to die. So this girl, yeah, she was like, what, 17? She looked like she was 16, 17 years old. She wasn't meant to die. She was meant to live for like years, you know? And some other person, I'm pretty sure, killed her. So, you know, obviously it was an unwilling death, so that's why she felt like she was stuck here. <coughs> Sorry. So that's why she felt like she was stuck here. So if we buried this necklace in the ground, she would hopefully pass on and go to heaven and not be stuck on this earth anymore and she would be at peace. So my cousin and I said, okay, like, we're going to help this ghost. Like, we want this ghost to pass on, be in peace, you know. We were freaked out. We didn't know what to do. So I guess this is what the ghost wanted. So... We went outside, <coughs> sorry, we buried the necklace in her backyard and kept it covered, and me and my cousin have not seen the step-cousin yet, because we're not blood-related, but we have not seen this ghost ever again, and it's been 11 years now, so that is the end of my ghost story. You guys can believe what you want to believe, but I know that I believe that I saw something. My cousin saw something. You know, if both of us saw the same thing, that kind of means it's real, in my opinion. So, and I honestly did not believe in ghosts until I saw my first one. And now I am a true believer because this is not the first, this is not the only, well, it is the first ghost I've seen, but this is not the only ghost I've seen now, 11 years later, I've seen many different things and felt different things. So, I know it sounds crazy, maybe to people that don't believe, but this legit happened. And, yes, I was 10 years old. Yes, you probably think I could be making it up. I promise you I'm not. This is a genuine story. So, if you enjoyed this story, like I said, and you want to hear more of my paranormal experiences and ghost stories, please give it a thumbs up because I... That is not even the best ghost story, what I just told you guys right now. Like, I have so many good ones. So please like this video. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more of my other videos. And I love you guys so much. Bye!